Okay, hopefully this video will help with people who are developing with the ESP8266. Because these aren't just a, an LED on a couple of batteries, these things are Internet of Things devices. Uh, Wi-Fi that connects up to the internet and this LED here is actually controlled online. So here's my little app here. If I select on and press on, the LED comes on. And if I select off, there we go, the LED goes off. Now, here's the thing that I've come up with, which is a little widget, an Internet of Things widget. And it comprises an OA79 diode and a simple red LED. If we pop this behind this, Let me just line it up with the output. You can see, oh, hang on, we're better with the light off. You can see, every now and again, we've got pulses going on of the red LED. And very, very useful stuff when it comes to writing applications uh, to check the power down status and check the module functionality because often you can write something not know if you're connected not knowing if it's running particularly not know if you're hitting a power down state correctly in which case this would flash differently or not flash at all so uh, another good thing about these is the range this is about you know like half a mile or something silly out of them so what i'll do next is i'll show the range outside okay let's see what kind of range this thing has got I've put it on our back fence and it's about 60 feet away from the back door. So we'll see if the light comes on and goes off. Okay, hopefully you can see the red light over there. And now I'll go to turn it on. One, two, three. On. There you go. There's the green light. You can see it just under the neighbour's uh, lights there across the way and now I'll go to turn it off uh, one two three go <laughs> and there we go so there's no problem at all with range so yeah that's about 60 feet so uh, just a last little go to turn it back on and then we'll go and pick it up and we'll turn it on one two three and there we go it's turned back on there's a confirmation if it'll focus. LED is now on. So, let's go and collect it. You can see by me walking, you see that the distance is correct. Here we are, coming on to the switched on light over here. There we go. So, there we go. Oh, and just a quick mention. Um, this little thing here, uh, the connector that goes to the device, is actually made from one of these. It's an old uh, PC ribbon cable. And they come apart at the sides very easily. And I just chopped it down with the Dremel. So I have four pins, two rows of. And uh, it fits these little modules perfectly. So that might be another perhaps little tip there. Okay, thanks very much for watching.